Notre Dame is number one. Notre Dame with a miracle win is a He's going again. Notre Dame has scored. The ice was bad. The wind was bad. The, the, it was freezing. It's the coldest game I've ever played in. Played in the NFL, played at Soldier Field, played in Cleveland Stadium. That was brutally, brutally cold. We came in to the locker room at halftime, and Joe's over in a, you know, over with, uh, I, you know, I don't know if it was Doc Bodner or, or, or who, which doctor it was, but yeah, they're filling full of chicken soup. And, you know, he, uh, and none of us thought he was ever going to come back, you know, didn't know what he had, didn't know, but he didn't look good. And I remember thinking to myself, Oh, God, we're in trouble if he's not coming back. That's Joe Montana now. Joe Montana warming up along the sidelines. And, and when he came back on the field, uh, things began to happen. Montana continues to throw. Fourth down has come up, and the punter has come on now. Blocked well, that there. one is blocked. And Notre Dame gets the football. That ball can be advanced, and it's being advanced right into the end zone, and it is taken in there for a touchdown. This team, we were never out of a game, even if we were 20 points down. Montana, and he throws, and it's gathered in for two points. Taken in the end zone for two points by Vegas Ferguson, and so the score is Houston 34, Notre Dame 20. Montana's rolling. He's going to try to take it in, and he's got it. Touchdown, Montana. Notre Dame is on the board. Rolls, and he's going to try to get to the flag. Now throws, and it's good for two points. He hit Haynes. He found Chris Haynes, his favorite pass receiver. We were behind, and I left the press box with about a minute and 20 seconds left. And we were behind. I got in the, I got in the elevator, and a number of Houston assistant coaches came in. And the elevator operator, who obviously was a, a, a Houston, Houston fan, said, well, you guys, you guys have had a great day. And one game. of the coaches said, yeah, and we're going to have a great night. By the time we got to the bottom of the elevator, they were behind. That's one of the, the things that sticks out in my mind, how cool Joe Montana was under pressure and made all of us feel, you know, that we were going to win that game. Montana! Montana! Montana, well, he'll have to get it to the sidelines, and he goes across the sideline marker, but the spot is being marked up there at the 18. It is a first down for Notre Dame. I think there was like only 14, 13, 14 seconds. It was a hurry up situation. We had no timeouts on the field. And I remember we didn't have a specific play called, so I just kind of like did one of these at, uh, at Joe, and he, he, he recognized it. So he just threw me the ball right away. It wasn't even a a, a route, so he just picked it up. It's like a quick screen, which we didn't have in our offense. Notre Dame is ready to go first and 10 at the 18-yard line. Montana pops this one and It's Chris Haynes, shouldering inside the 10-yard line. And I was able to get down to about the, what a finish. I guess about the six-yard line, and we get about and get out of bounds. The clock says six seconds left to play in the game. First down for Notre Dame, and goal to go at the Houston eight-yard line. On the next play, we called a play that was an out, out route. We had a linebacker on me, and I slipped, and he threw it. Montana, incomplete. Three Trying seconds to to hands. Left. Three seconds, two seconds on the clock. Two so we had like two seconds left, seconds left at that point. Now Montana is looking over to the sideline to get his next play. So Joe looked to the sidelines uh, and said, you know, hey, what do you want me to run? Uh, and so the coaches were just waving him. Hey, they just took, everybody took their headphones, coaches took their headphones off. Uh, they just waved to Joe, hey, call whatever you needed to call. And so what we, what he did was we ran the same play we ran before. It had to be a pass play because we had to score. Joe asked me if I could beat him again. I said, yeah, absolutely. He got us all in and he said, Vegas, I want you to go here. And Chris, I want you to cut right in front of that cone. I'm gonna hit you right in the corner of the end zone. Houston 34, Notre Dame 28. Montana going, and it's a touchdown, Haynes. a touchdown, taken at the corner. Unbelievable, unbelievable finish. And it was unbelievable. And uh, we ran the play, and the next thing I know, I looked at, and I was right by Chris when he caught it, and it was just amazing. It was an amazing comeback. It was an amazing win. God was with me on that one. It was like, low and outside and caught it. 
I'm just so glad I didn't drop it, you know, so it's... Joe Eunice gets all the credit for winning the game, not me, so I just tied it. And here comes the all-important extra point. It's tied 34-34. Joe Eunice end to attempt. It's up, and it's good. Joe Eunice it. from Dallas, Texas, kicked the extra point, and the game is over. I Notre think Dame people forget that Joe Eunice, our field goal kicker, had to kick it twice because we were offside the first time. It's still tied 34-34. Five-yard penalty. Five-yard penalty against Notre Dame, and Eunice again. Will help Knaffel holding for him. What pressure. Knaffel will hold, and Joe Eunice will have to try to do it again. It's down, Eunice kicks it, and it is good. Now Notre Dame has won the football game, 35-34. to They made it good, and uh, we walked away with one of the incredible victories in Notre Dame history.